My name is Mark Hasmeyer, Product Evangelist, and today I am happy to show you our Citrix integration. So to start off, I would like to share why we integrate Citrix. That's because people don't like to navigate to their web portal to go to their client and then log into the desktop and then open the application. So what we want to do is we want to allow them to log into one workspace and access all their applications, being web or local or uh, hosted applications, and also all their news, social feeds, their Office 365 file server documents, their calendar, their to-do tasks, etc. Everything you need to do your work in one portal. And for admins, we allow you to set it up really easily. So for example, when you have a Citrix application and you want to push it to a group of users, you can simply create a tile group and you can drag and drop the application in the group and the application will be visible to everyone which has access to this group. So that's how easy it is to set it up. Um, the full setup of the Citrix application can be found on our support portal, support.workspace365.net. And then now I will uh, show what's it like to be a user and to access your remote desktop application. So for this setup, I set up Money Dance, which is a uh, finance program. And when I click on the application, you'll notice that I don't have to sign in. It's signed in automatically. When I logged into the workspace, it's also logged in uh, via Azure ID to the Citrix application. So now it just opens the application in my taskbar here at the bottom. You see it. And you can work with it just like you would with a application which you installed on your desktop. Alternatively, you can also use it within your browser so that when you click on the application that it doesn't need the receiver, the Citrix receiver, but it will open in a different browser tab and that you can navigate to your application there. Um, we do integrate this with Citrix and we have our own clientless RDP which has the same functionality but then you don't need Citrix to do this. What's even better is that as an admin you can also set up conditional access so you can for example uh, yeah, disable the application for specific IP addresses or enable it for specific IP addresses, devices or browsers so that you can help the user uh, to yeah, work with their applications in the safest way possible. So that's a short update about Citrix Senap. I hope you like it and if you want to try it be sure to check out workspace365.net and try our demo. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on LinkedIn to receive more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.